good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful morning here. It's about 5.30 on Thursday, April 8th now, 2021. We're coming into spring. We got spring time conditions here. I was down checking out some of the yellowtail down at Seaforth Landing yesterday. Can I get a shot of your yellowtail? That's super cool, yeah. What'd you get them on? Uh, live bait. Nice. What boat were you on? San Diego. Yep, all day to the Coronado Islands. Yeah. Nice work. This was like nine o'clock. They were on the surface too. You saw them boiling on the surface oh. and you put a fly line bait out? Exactly. What pound weight uh, did you have fluorocarbon? Liter? 20. 20 pound? Yeah. And then what type of reel were you using? Medium sized conventional. With star drag? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do have a YouTube channel. So let's yeah, <laughs> exactly, man. Can I put you on my YouTube channel? Sure. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. No, nice work on the yellowtail. How many, is that your first yellowtail or you get them, uh, you've gotten them before? Uh, I've gotten one before, but. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Springtime yellowtail are here. That's super cool. Yeah. How many times have you gone out on the San Diego before? This is my first time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been wanting to see the yellowtail from the uh, from the San Diego, so that's perfect. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, what do you think that weighs? 12, 15? 12. Yeah. Oh, that's a 40 pounder at least. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yellowtail's a yellowtail. That's a nice fish. Nice work, buddy. What's your name? Oliver. Oliver? You want a sticker? Sure. Yeah, that, that's it right there. Thank you. Right on, Oliver. Thanks for watching and following the channel. Yeah. Springtime, yeah, I, I appreciate the love and the support. Yeah, I'm just going harder and harder, trying to keep, now I'm trying to do a little report of San Diego. Yeah. So maybe you'll get on the springtime uh, San Diego report, Yellowtail on the San Diego. Yeah. Right on, Oliver, great work, man. Have a good one. There you got it. The report right here from the docks. We're at Wednesday, April 7th, 2021, and all the boats are coming in. The San Diego was just unloading and Oliver, one of my <laughs> uh, watchers, viewers, was just uh, showing me his yellowtail that he got on live bait. Super, super cool. It's all good here in Mission Bay. Beautiful evening. Those guys got, dang, he got three. Beast. How many uh, uh, yellowtail did the boat get? Uh, we got a total of 16 to 15 guys, so. And that guy got three? Or is he carrying them for some of his oh, buddies? No, he got three. He got three on the sur all on the surface iron? Uh, yo yo. Yo yo? Yeah, he killed it. Down at uh, Coronados? Yeah, right in that middle ground area. What, uh, like 6X Junior or something? Yeah, he was fishing a 6X Junior, blue and white. Blue and white, yeah. And he had a straight white. So it was cool, it was fun. What is that, 9 o'clock in the morning time that most of them bit, or was it, it throughout? It was all day. It was all day thing? Yeah. Pop up and then go down, pop up again. A lot of fish out there for sure. Did you get a yellowtail today? I got two. Nice on the yo-yo iron. Two. Yo oh, those are your two. You uh, had them keep the carcass. What do you yeah. like to do with the carcasses? I actually cut them up and um, we fry them. I like I like eating the meat and things around the bone. Yeah, no, that that is one of the best parts. Uh, Cause I put it whole on the smoker before. So you just chop that into sections and you fry it. Yeah. And you got yours on yo-yo iron, your um, fish? No, I got mine on uh, live. live bait. Today. The day before that, I was in La Jolla for the evening time, trolling out there, the Nomad, and I saw Ryan hook up with a really, really nice fish, land a 30 plus pound yellowtail. Okay, so I'm just getting out past the reserve line, about 65 feet of water. Got some birds already working. Yellowtail. Oil. We are evening troll with the Nomad. It's going on the pen right here. Braided line. Got the birds working. I've seen some boils. It looks promising. Just going to keep trolling hard. Is Ryan hooked up? Just saw him. It looked like he was hooked up. Get it, boy! Damn, 
that's a piece. Probably like 30 pounds. Wow, on the Nomad. Making it happen. Nice job, Ryan. That's your first one on the Nomad, right? And first one on the scout? Yeah. Great work, Ryan. Later, bro. I'm going to show you something a little special right here. So you know that it's time, or at least I'm, I've been sitting here, winter time I was out in Florida, gearing up out, doing my thing out there, traveling around. Then I come back down to San Diego, and I'm looking for uh, the springtime yellowtail. So it started going off out at the islands with some of the boats to San Diego, the other boats, this or that. But La Jolla hasn't really fully popped off yet. But what I noticed yesterday, and what I want to show all of you, is this website that I use. It's called Temp Break. So here's the website. Okay. We're at tempbreak.com. And it gives you all this map of Southern California and the sea surface temperatures. All the orange areas are the warmest. So as you can see here, if we zoom in, so this, this matches up with my La Jolla map and my San Diego inshore map. If we zoom in on this here. So I come through here and I'm looking and it is warm, 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 warm right here in La Jolla, all this area. So that's where we're heading today. We're gonna head to La Jolla today. Here's the rigs that we rigged up, that I rigged up last night that I'm going with. So the first one here, as I always have it, we got the Nomad DTX Minnow 140. It's the same one as last year, all chewed up and everything like that. This is on the Penn Jig Master reel that I got from Charlie and then the Daiwa saltwater VIP saltwater rod and that's my trolling setup for the nomad then I got my jigging one of my jigging setups right here and we're doing a new move I have not I haven't done this move before and what this move is we're going double hookup bait on the three-way swivel so I got the swivel right here then I got 40 pound fluorocarbon coming down to each side, one side's a little longer than the others. I got this on my Phoenix M1 inshore rod and on my Daiwa Seagate 40 reel. That's setup number two. Setup number three. So this was on my Top Lures video. This was on my Top Lures video. Same thing with this one on my Top Lures video. It's the flat fall right there. You got the hookup baits here. So the flat fall. So this last setup, I got the pen high speed with the braided line that I put on it on the custom fiberglass rod. And this one has a flat fall with, with 40 pound fluorocarbon on it. So those are the three setups we're going to be fishing. And then I'm bringing my bait set up right here. Got my sabiki ready to go here to catch bait with. But one of the things that I wanted to go over with the sabiki that I like to do personally is I don't like to use every one of the hooks that are on there. So I cut off every other one. So we're going to cut off. I'm going to cut off this one. I got, I got this one here. I'm going to cut off this one. I got this one here. I'm going to cut off this one. I got this one here and then cut off this one. We'll leave two on the top. A couple of the other items that you got to go with. I got my electronics, my radio, my battery for my fish finder, my battery for my bait tank. And I got my pliers, my biddies are the battery boxes right here. And then here's the tackle, extra tackle that I'm working with. My irons, I got a mint surface iron ready. Some of these heavier glow in the dark yo-yo irons. Colt sniper, extra hookup baits, 
I got 40 and 50 pound fluorocarbon. And I got some extra hooks and whatnot in here. And then for the, just in case for the Thresher Sharks, I'm gonna bring this Rapala. Threshers love, love to eat these. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get loaded up here, and then we'll hit the show, hit the road with this show and get, to, get on the way to La Jolla. A little prep session in the garage, getting back to the roots in the garage. Let's go solo skiff. Next stop, we gotta go by Summit, get a little bit of extra gas so that we're good to go and then start fishing. I didn't get any yeah, rakes, no right nothing. Here where the small jetty is that, off the point of North Island, there's a little jetty there. That's where the halibut is hanging. My buddy's pulling up halibut the size of you. No way. Yeah, because there's eelgrass along there too. I uh, started trolling that nomad lure and there, my friend was coming in. He was trolling the same lure and he hooked up. He got a nice, like there, he said it was just over 30 pound uh, yellowtail. So I'm gonna be on it early this morning right. and see what's going on. But I think I'm just gonna pick up some uh, some gas. No, I, I already got some squid from last time. I'm just gonna get $5 in gas. Okay, let's get the gas fill up. We got the Summit gas stop. Cheapest gas in town. Let's go. Here we go, coming into La Jolla. And it is a very, very very foggy morning very foggy but it's all good we're gonna hit it up early stop by summit gas and saw my buddy joe inside there got the approval from him and his manager to be filming up in there doing a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna keep working my my pocket here with the audio and all that good stuff but right now the main the main focus is getting out here in la jolla about to burn off I think this fog it's a little bit better over here but still this is how we're working it I should do it. Let's go get dressed and launch. Here we go, showtime at the shores. What are we working with today for the rigs? I got my sabiki here. I cut off a couple of the hooks. Use that to catch some live bait maybe. Then I got my flat fall glow in the dark. 160 gram Shimano on the pen, Jigmaster high speed with the fiberglass custom rod. Got this 40 pound fluorocarbon to the barrel swivel to 65 pound braid. I'll put some pieces of squid. I got my squid right here. Summit gas and I'll put squid on that, drop that down. In addition, I'm working with this new dig, three-way swivel to double. And then the Nomad. That's the money move right there. The Nomad. Saw Ryan get one Tuesday night here out there. So surf's not looking too bad, but nobody else out right now. I don't see any boats, any kayaks. Nobody. Just solo session on the solo skiff. Let's go.
launch. Fun times. So this is pretty wild and crazy. As soon as I get out here past the launch, I'm getting out of the reserve line right here and there's just birds everywhere. Birds are blowing up. I'm gonna have my, my flat ball ready. Maybe even I'll throw my hookup baits and I'm gonna troll the Nomad through them. But there, wow, look at how many birds there are. All right, so we're just getting out here. Got a ton of birds. I'm gonna throw the Nomad out. Start trolling the Nomad at about, we're going too fast. I'm gonna go out about four miles an hour. Here we go, it's that Nomad life. This is the same DTX Minnow 140. You can't even read it anymore that I used all last year. So chewed up. Let's get another one. We're going on the pen, high speed jig master, or no, just pen jig master, old school, with the salt, Daiwa VIP saltwater rod. See what we're working with. We are! Let's go, baby! Yeah! On the Nomad Troll! Yeah! Let's go! Immediately, as soon as I get out here, I don't want to tighten. I'm on this pen. I haven't used this reel before. I don't want to tighten the drag, but I'm nice. I'm out away from the, exactly. I'm out away from the kelp. I could go for a shark. I like how this thing is fighting a lot because it's just long, hard pulls. It was one big, long one. He got most of the line off, right? <laughs> that was so, crazy but i don't know what if i want to try to grab him by hand or hit him with my i brought my big ass salmon net <laughs> are you actually waiting for them to open your outside in the pre-line i realize that my drag's not even that tight but it's yep the same one Damn, i can't believe i was on the phone with you but my drag is super loose, but I'm paranoid because it's sensitive with the star drag. I'm fishing all star drags now, so like all my stuff's stolen. Oh, this guy's now, he's digging down a little bit. I'm going by the kills. Yeah! Yahoo! There it is, baby! Wow, 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 wow! Yeah! Woo! Yes! 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 I'm the nomad! Woo! It came up to the surface and the dog popped up right there. I got to get it by the tail. And then the Nomad, I have my game clip on my side and the Nomad wrapped up in the game clip. 
and I was like, oh no, what is going to go? What? And the seal jumped up right then. And then I just grabbed it uh, by the mouth and the gills. And I got it in my lap right now. And I'm going to take my photos. I got it, yes! Yes! There it is. It's as easy as that. Got on the Nomad. The yellowtail hit it early. Got out here, launched just after 7. Started trolling at 7.30. Hooked up, it's not even eight o'clock yet. Mind blown right now. Beautiful, beautiful springtime yellow. San Diego, La Jolla, let's get it bled out. Take a couple more photos of it. Wow. Just a beautiful fish. That's why I come here. Maybe a 30 pounder, we'll see. I did it, I did it, I did it. I got my first yellow tail for 2021 and I am stoked. I was looking at temp break. I knew the temp break was looking good. Water temperature was warming up. I was out here a couple days ago and my buddy got one troll in the Nomad. And then I came out, I launched at about seven o'clock. He's going a little crazy still. I launched at about seven, got out, started trolling the Nomad at 7.30 and then hooked up with this beautiful fish, this beautiful yellowtail. Wow. Just wow. That's what it's all about right there, La Jolla Yellowtail. I don't know, maybe a 25 pounder, but he got the Squid Co hat on. Coming at you with the condo in the background. Just a beauty of a fish. Classic La Jolla Yellowtail. I'm the only one out. I saw one other boat cruise through. Other than that, only one. Get this thing bled out on the game clip, start trolling some more. Yes! <laughs>